afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Song School Show. We are live from... That's right, Kalosh Nehinche, or for those of you who aren't familiar in the Gaelic language, that means Laytown College. So it's a secondary school in Laytown. That's on the beautiful east coast of Ireland on the Meath Peninsula, just 30 minutes away from Dublin and 20 minutes away from Dublin Airport. So very accessible and beautiful on this fine November day. So this class here has been divided into three groups, each of which has composed and completed a song of their own. This is made all the more impressive by the fact that the majority of them don't have a background in music or can't play a musical instrument. So we're going to take you around the three groups, then we're going to listen to the songs, and I hope you'll agree with me that the standard of music is incredibly high. Okay, so let's go meet our first group. Okay, so we're here with our first group now, so could you please introduce yourselves and the name of the group. We're the Boston Tea Party, and I'm Kim. Sophie. Kieran. Philip. Stephen. Who is Keen. Okay, and first of all, what's the name of your song that you've written today? The name of our song is Take Our Time. And what's the inspiration behind the song? The inspiration behind the song is the bromance between our band members, Rhys and Philip, and also the fact that Sophie and I are in a relationship with people. So, yeah. So, was it? How did you come up with the lyrics? At lunchtime, me and my friend Aaron Mary, we started writing a song together, so that's how we came up with the lyrics. And do you and Aaron both have backgrounds in music, or do you both play instruments? Yeah, my friend Aaron's actually in a band called The Valves, and yeah, it's really cool. And me, I just do covers on YouTube and stuff like that. Okay, and what about the rest of you? Does, does any of the rest of you have any sort of background in music, interest in music, or...? <laughs> no, 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 really do. <laughs> Okay, so what was your inspiration behind the band's name or the formation of the band? Uh, well, one day I just started saying Jethro Tull. He's a historical figure. And I found out that the band is named after that. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So I decided we, we should do something like that. We call it a name after uh, something historical. So you're based around historical events. Incidentally, do you like history, readers? Yes, yes. That's an original enough way to name your band. Okay, and did you enjoy the experience? Pardon the bell. Did you enjoy the experience of working over the last few days? Yeah, it was really fun. Would you care to elaborate just some moments that you enjoyed or some moments that you found funny or anything that you particularly stood out over the last few days? Well, Kieran is the drama queen of the group, so that was quite interesting. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Okay, and that's the Boston Tea Party, and now we're ready to hear their song, Take Our Time. Sitting in the sunshine between the blades of grass, you got the kind of feeling that no one ever has. Waste away the time like you had none at all. When you're with that kind of person, it's a love face where you fall. Cause life like this won't last forever. Cause love like this can't get any better. Take all my time, cause I want yours Give me all your love, babe Open up the door I remember sitting with the view of you You kissed me on the forehead and I fell in love with you You took my hand and I took yours This feeling is something I've never felt before Cause life like this won't last forever Cause love like this can't get any better Take all my time cause I want yours Give me all your love babe, open up the door And we'll take our time 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 Okay, that was Take Our Time by the Boston Tea Party. And anyone interested in hearing more of Kim's covers, do subscribe to her YouTube page, Kim O'Brien. Okay, so we're with our next group, so could you please introduce the name of your act and 
introduce um, each of your each one of yourselves. Hi, it's Kevin here with the nominees and their new song. I forget. Only joking. It's self-destructing world. I'm going to ask a few questions to each of the band members, starting with Calum. Calum, where did the name and style of this song come from? Well, the style was, influ- uh, was influenced by o- Oasis and U2, who t- are two of my, my favourite artists, and I think that it suited us very well. Um, in terms of the title, Self Destructing World, we went for a darker approach to music than I thought the rest of the groups would have. That's generally because I think there's so many injustices happening around the world at the moment, and where, say, in the 60s and 70s, you had acts, artists such as the Sex Pistols actually trying to make a stand against injustice, and I don't think that there's anyone doing that at the moment. I think that someone has to do it, and I thought, why not? Why shouldn't it be us? So, Self Destructing World is our view on what's happening at, in the world at the moment. All right, Sam, you did most of the live instrumentals for this song. Uh, would you consider yourself a musician? Well, I'd consider myself a musician because I was playing the instruments, but I suppose anyone could be a musician uh, once they have the ability to play at instruments. <laughs> All right, Peter and James, you have uh, quite an interesting duet in this song. Did you enjoy song school this year? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great fun. Yeah, it was an original creation, I suppose, and... It turned out pretty good, so I suppose yeah. it was good fun making it. It was kind of nerve-wracking because it was our first time singing uh, together, and um, but we managed to get through it and get past all the mistakes to sing. Even though there were a lot of mistakes, but yes. you know, I suppose it's just part of the fun, I suppose. But it was very good. It was good. And Nolan, Rob, you came late to the group. Um, how, what was your first reaction to this, uh, when hearing this song? Um, my first reaction of the song was that it was a very different song compared to other popular songs out there. Over time, I began to enjoy the song with its beat and the rhythm. Overall, it was great to take part in, and I would definitely do it again. Um, I was a bit sceptical at first with the lyrics, as I came late and I had no idea what it was about, but I think it turned out great in the end. Now, Sean, what was your addition to this group? Um, my addition to this group was I contributed to the writing of the song and did part of that, and I also sang um, more mostly and um, rather than the other people in the group who would contribute on multiple things. It was a different experience than what I'd be used to, as it was my first time actually singing. But uh, I thought it was decent enough, so it was good. Now, to everyone in the band, was there any uh, best or worst moments in Song Skill this year? I think that we did have fun along the way. I mean, there were our funny moments, but um, there are times when you want to, you know, bang your head against the wall because it does get frustrating. But in fairness, we did come up with a song that I think is solid enough. And yes. The best moment when we had a finalised song and we were just so happy with how it turned out, so that was pretty good. All right, uh, we're going to play the song now for you and featuring a pretty uh, bad rap from me. How long must we wait for a change in the fate of the people of the world which we live? People are dying, politicians are lying Take so much when we so much to give Out of control, I thought we better than that. There's no one more, and that's a better, in fact. Everybody's saying that it's gonna get better. Our hearts getting cold, I better bring a sweater. And that's gonna happen without any action. God gave this world without a single reaction. Close the child to leave because we got him. We gotta escape before he hit rock bottom.
Okay, so now we're on to our third and final group. So could you please introduce the band name and introduce yourselves individually? Hi, we are the Us Bus, and I'm Nat. <laughs> I'm David. I'm Clara. I'm Jack. I'm Jamie. I'm Becky. I'm Becca. Okay, and what is the name of your song? Make a Change. Okay, and what's the main theme behind this song, and what inspired it? The main theme is change, and what inspired it was just life in general. Okay, and um, what musical artists influenced you, or did any musical artists influence you? No, no one, no one inspired us. Okay, and um, just who did the most of the work in terms of music? So, does, do any of you have a background in playing music and singing, or who were, say, who drove the project? I, the rest of the group kind of wrote the lyrics and Nat played guitar and then I was singing with Clara. What she said? Yeah, I played the guitar. Okay, and um, how long have you been playing the guitar now? I've been playing it for, like, since primary school, about fifth class, so a good few years. Okay, so I look forward to hearing the song. And um, how long did it take to write the song? Uh, it took two days in total. And did you, the... And did you enjoy the experience of participating in song school? Yeah, it was amazing. Okay, that's great to hear. So, let's... <laughs> okay, well, um, just to prove that we're live, the school intercom has rudely interrupted us. Okay, so let's hear the song. By the Yus Bus, it's Make a Change. Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's show. We've heard three different songs from three different acts in Kaloshnahinja in Laytown. For any more information, please search Laytown School on Google or go straight to www.kaloshnahinja.ie. For more information on those who taught us to write the songs, Peter and Kevin, go straight to songschool.ie. I'm Caelan. We are Kaloshnahinja on the east coast of Ireland. Thank you for listening. Have a very good afternoon.